Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is day six of my 12 days of Christmas, which means there are only six days left till Christmas. Can you guys believe that? Today, I am back to share with you guys another best in color video. And today, if you cannot guess, we are talking all about blue and silver eyeshadow. Blue. Blue is not my most worn eyeshadow color in my collection, but there are some really amazing blues out there that even I, who is someone that is a little bit averse to a very bold blue, will wear. I love silvery blues and navies, and I have a good variety in here from light to dark, a lot of different finishes, and different undertones of blue eyeshadow, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Before we get into it, special welcome to any new visitors to my channel. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed and that you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss out on the rest of my 12 days of Christmas videos and beyond that. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into some really good blues. All right, you guys, so as with the other videos that I've done so far, we're gonna kind of go in order from light to dark and starting things off with the shade that I'm wearing in the center of my lid. This is one of my very favorite blues and it is from the Juvia's Place Magic Mini Palette. It's this shade right here. This is a very silver toned blue, which is just how I like my blue eyeshadow. I love something that's not too strong in its blue undertone. Tone. I mean, I don't mind things leaning quite blue, but if I'm actually going to wear a blue around, I usually like it to be a little bit more silver toned, and this is just perfect. It's a very icy, silvery, cool toned blue. There is no green or teal in this blue. It's just very cool, like a steely, steely blue. Reminds me of stainless steel. Super metallic. I do love Juvia's Place eyeshadows. Their formula is great. Their shimmers are really foiled. Very kind of rich and creamy and opaque. As I mentioned, this is the shade that I'm wearing all over the center of my lid. I do have something else popped on my inner corner that we'll get to in a sec, but I do really love this shade. When I am in the mood for blue eyeshadow, this is one of the first ones that I think of and one of the first ones I thought of when I was thinking about this video before I actually got to swatching my eyeshadows. Another one that I wanted to include that's quite similar to this one but has a little bit more of a green shift to it is this shade right here from the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop So Jaded palette. It's this shade right here. It's called Aquamarine. As you can see, this one does have a little bit more of kind of a minty or teal shift to it, but it's still very metallic, very brightening. I especially love mixing this blue with something more along the lines of a blue kind of like this, like a teal blue. Such a pretty combination. Whereas the one I'm wearing today, I like to combine more with like navy blues and I do have, oh wait till you guys see the dark navies that I have today. Let me just live swatch that for you guys so you can kind of see how they compare next to each other. This one the formula is not quite as good on this one. I find I have to kind of build it up with two layers, which is actually a little unusual. ColourPop shimmers usually go on really, really thick and creamy. This one is a little bit more sheer, but it is very pretty. I don't know how well you guys, I know these are super reflective. It's kind of hard to tell, but hopefully you guys can see just the subtle green shift that this one has right here, whereas this one is more of a blue, silvery, still or platinum kind of shift, but I love them both. They are both stunning. For the next shade I wanted to include, we're dipping into the Natasha Denona Love palette. I don't actually love this palette a whole lot, but there's one shade in here that if we're talking about blues and silvers, this is one of the best silvers in my entire collection, and it is this shade right here. This is the shade Blind, and it is blinding, you guys, let me tell you. This is the shade that I'm wearing on my inner corner today, combined with that Juvia's Place shade. As you can see here, super bold, super metallic, very, very rich and opaque and creamy. I love this shade. It's just a good classic silver. It's kind of the exact same color as my nail polish. What do you know? I would even say that this has just a tiny, tiny hint of taupe in it, but I would still call it more of a silver than like a true taupe. And it goes beautifully with other shades of blue, especially with like a deep navy or turquoise blue in your outer corner or as a liner. This is such a pretty, pretty shade and can make so many different pretty looks. I love, love this silver. All right, I've got a matte shade for you guys, a light to mid-tone matte, and I don't have a lot of these. There's not a lot of lighter matte blues in my collection, but one that I found as I was looking through and swatching the shadows in my collection comes from the Natasha Denona Safari palette, and it's this shade right here. This is the shade Stone. Oh, this is such a pretty shade, you guys, and I love this as a transition shade. It's just very interesting. It has some gray in it. It does have some blue in it, and it also has, I don't know if I should say white in it, but it's a very light tone, which makes it kind of unique, at least to the eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection. I don't have a lot of 
lighter or mid-tone blues. It's just not an eyeshadow color I see very often, especially something that's not overly blue, like a periwinkle shade. This is like a neutral silvery blue, and it goes well with pretty much any of the shadows that I'm going to be swatching today. And because Natasha Denona's mattes are so rich and so creamy, they're really good ones to use for like all matte looks because they really look even and smooth on your eyelids. I absolutely love this shade. But next on my list, we're moving into some more shimmers, and these come from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have three shades of blue from Anastasia. Anastasia Beverly Hills and the first two come from her Riviera palette. This is a really fun palette. It's not one that I use very often, but for those times that I'm feeling like doing a blue look, this is one of the first palettes that I think of. I love these two blues inside here. First off is the shade Seaside. This is a really interesting blue. It's very silver tone, but it almost has a touch of a gold reflect to it. It's very, very unique, but it's a good mid-tone blue. It's not overly blue. So this is the type of blue that I recommend for people that are kind of afraid of blue eyeshadow because it's not too obviously blue. It's a little bit more kind of silver and almost gold toned, maybe even a little bit of purple, but there is some blue inside this shadow. Once you combine all those different shifts together, it makes for some really beautiful and interesting looks. Let me just swatch it live for you guys. So again, this is the shade Seaside. Really pretty silver. This is one of those shades that you've got to see it in person because when you look closely at it, you'll see the different undertones that I'm talking about. I mean, at first glance, it looks like kind of a purpley blue. It's just a very beautiful shade. I absolutely love it. This shade in the corner, Mediterranean, is a little bit darker. It has a little bit more blue in it, but I, I love this shade as well. These two actually look really good together. I love putting Mediterranean on the outer half of the lid and then popping Seaside on the inner corner, inner part of the lid and kind of merging the two shades together. This one is more of like a periwinkle blue than a taupey blue. I just think these two pair so beautifully together. They are somewhat similar, but in person there are some differences, and especially I think if you add like two layers of this one, it is a much stronger blue as you can see right there, whereas this one has more taupe or silver in it. The next shade I had to pick comes from the Carly Bible palette. This is not my very favorite Anastasia palette. There are some things I really like about this palette and a couple shades I don't really like, but one that is really, really special is this shade right here. It's the shade Jode. This one, as you will see, is somewhat similar to the other two Anastasia shades, but this one is a little bit darker. These are really good metallics. I love Anastasia's metallics, especially this metallic formula. I like the ones that are more of her true kind of creamy metallics and the ones that are a little bit drier and more flaky. There it is swatched right there. You can see it's just a half a step darker than these three. I did go back and forth on just picking two of these shades because they are somewhat similar to each other, but you guys, when I'm wearing a blue eyeshadow, I'm very, very picky in the type of blue that I will actually wear myself. I don't like something that's overly bold or even kind of periwinkle or pastel in tone. I really like something that has a little bit more silver in it or a little bit of purple or taupe or silver undertone to it, and that's why I picked all three of these ones. I just think they are so, so pretty. I have one more shimmer that is somewhat similar to these one that is just another step below these in depth and it comes from the BH Cosmetics Love in London palette. The shade that I picked is this shade in the corner, the shade Tea. This is such a pretty steely kind of blue that has a really interesting gray kind of pewter sort of undertone. I absolutely love that. This is a really good shade. If you want just like a deep gray steely smoky eye, this would be the perfect shade for that. I think it is so, so stunning. I'm a big fan of the BH Cosmetics formula. Their shimmers are spectacular. They're so easy to work with. They apply well with a brush or with your finger. I like them with my finger because I have a little bit more punch had to pick this blue right here because I think it just goes so beautifully with these other shimmers. Next shade I had to include is another shimmer. This one comes from Sydney Grace and this is somewhat, somewhat newer to me. I got this in the fall and I love it. It is this shade right here. This is called Purple Sky. This is a very unique multi-dimensional shade. I don't know that I call it a multi-chrome, but there's a lot of different colored reflect particles in this one that have kind of this stilly, charcoaly blue pigment behind them. Hopefully you guys can see it in the swatch. There is so much beauty in this eyeshadow that I don't know is going to come across on camera. Let me try and live swatch it for you guys. Yeah, probably not going to show its true potential. There's some blue in here. There's some green in here. There's some purple in here. It's just so unique depending on where you hold it it kind of 
shifts. It just has a lot of tiny little varied glitter particles in it that is, it's so pretty. It's such a unique shade. I've never seen a formula like this, even from Sydney Grace, of all the shimmers of hers that I have. I have some that are multi-chrome where they truly shift into light, but this one, the dimension really comes more from the varied glitter particles inside here, but it's not like a chunky glitter. These are really fine, small glitter particles. I think, again, this is another shade that would make the prettiest charcoaly smoky eye like a new year's eve look we are down to the last three i have two more mattes one more shimmer to share with you guys this was tough i have a lot of really good navy blue like deep navy blues in my collection and i love a good matte navy blue but i first had to pick this one right here this comes from the c color cosmetics unisex three palette this palette has made a few appearances already which should tell you how much i do love this palette but this is the shade I would select. This is such a beautiful matte blue shade. It's like the color of stonewashed denim. I love this shade so much. It's another blue that is for people that are afraid of blue eyeshadow because this one comes across really muted and almost gray in tone, but there's definitely some blue there. Let me give it a quick live swatch for you guys. I'm sorry, my hands are very, very stained. <laughs> I tried to wipe that shade off before, but here is the C color shade, I just love this. And once again, these mattes in this palette are just, they remind me of the Natasha Denona mattes. They're super creamy and soft, but soft in a good way, not in a way like you dip your brush into them and tons of powder goes everywhere or they're overly messy or difficult to work with. They're just really beautifully formulated. I love them. I love this shade. It is so different than the other deep matte blues that I have. Next up is a shade from Sydney Grace. This one is a shimmer and it is the shade Deep Water. Here it is right here, you guys. I'm sorry, my hands are getting so messy. This is a shimmery navy blue. Basically, that's how you would describe this shadow. It is a nice, beautiful, shimmery blue that again is not i mean it's blue but it's not intensely blue it's just right this is the perfect deep shimmery shade this is one of those formulas it is shimmery but it's not so foiled and shimmery that you couldn't just use this in your outer corner as a liner i would happily put this on my lower lash line and not feel like it's going to emphasize texture too much has a little bit more of a satiny shimmer finish to it i love it though look at that beautiful color and shine perfect navy blue and i do love a navy blue in my outer corner especially when I'm working with like a silver or a light blue. But I also had to pick one perfect deep navy blue. This one was tricky. I ended up going with another one from Sydney Grace and it's this one right here. This is Indiana Love. I also had in the running the navy blue in the Juvia's Place Magic Mini palette, but I went with this one because this one has a little bit more of a denim sort of undertone to it, similar to like this one above. Whereas the Juvia's Place one, while I do love it, when you start to blend that one out, it has a stronger blue undertone to it. Whereas this one is more of like a, it's almost like a charcoaly blue. It's so pretty. Look at that color, you guys. Wow, I mean, that is incredible. So this is the color that I'm wearing. I kind of have it just smudged as a liner on my upper and just my outer corner right here. But I just used kind of a flat eyeshadow brush like this and just really kind of built that up along that outer lash line. That's what's giving me this little bit of depth right there. I don't have any liner on today. It's just this beautiful shade right there and I absolutely love it. And that is it for my top 12 blue eyeshadows in my collection. Here's a look at them all swatched next to each other. Isn't that so beautiful? I feel like even if you're not a fan of blue eyeshadow, I mean, you just have to appreciate the beauty of each of these shades, even if you don't want to put them on your eyes. But all of these are shades that I would wear, and that's coming from someone that, when I think of blue eyeshadow, I think of Mimi from the Drew Carey Show. So I generally try to avoid things that are too obviously blue, and these are all shades that I feel like I can work with. I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you guys think of this collection of blues? What do you guys think of blue eyeshadow in general? I know it's one of the colors that I think a lot of people are very intimidated by. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys are doing well. I want to remind you one more time, if you are not subscribed, be sure to do that before you leave. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I can just imagine myself having a party all by myself with this on my eyelids doing absolutely nothing but wearing my pajamas on New Year's Eve, which by the way, that's not really even a COVID thing. That's just kind of how I celebrate New Year's normally. My hands are dirty.